I started getting interested in writing when I was a doctoral student at the University of Kansas. I never really considered myself a good writer. In fact, in college, I failed the second composition course. And um, as I started to have to write more academically, um, I started getting more interested in how people who were good writers went about uh, carrying out those processes. And it just so happened that I came across a magazine called the Paris Reviews. And it included interviews with people like Hemingway and Steinbeck and, and other notable novelists and also essayists. And they talked about the processes that they engaged in as they went through writing. And I realized I was much more interested in writing than I was in reading, which was the point that I was focusing in on at that point. I went ahead and did my dissertation in reading because I'd already spent so much time putting that together. But the first thing that I did when I took my first job at uh, Auburn University is I went about doing three reviews as quickly as I could to get a handle of the research that existed in writing from the beginning of the 19th century uh, forward. And um, while I was at Auburn, I met Karen, and Karen was interested in instructional procedures and particularly thinking procedures. And we thought about this, and uh, there's a lot that's involved in writing that involves thinking and self-regulation, and so it looked like a good place for us kind of to match our interests. And so from about 1984, uh, we moved to Purdue. Um, to present, we've been involved in... Um, a pretty large number of studies that have taken a look at a procedure she developed, self-regulated strategy development, and its effectiveness initially with kids with special needs. Um, then we started moving into typically developing kids, but kids who were um, challenged with writing, and that's kind of morphed into a whole bunch of other areas with kids in general, um, uh, kids with emotional behavior disorders, uh, kids with ADHD, um, and even some people now doing research with kids with severe disabilities. Along the way, um, I also broadened out in terms of what I was interested in. Initially, we focused just in special education, but it's very clear that if you're working in special education, um, kids in special education, particularly kids with learning disabilities, are in the regular classroom most of the time. And so we started doing a series of national surveys to take a look at what teachers were doing to teach writing in general and, and how they made adaptations for struggling writers. And it wasn't a very pretty picture in terms of what teachers were telling us. Not much time spent teaching writing, not much writing going on that involved composing. Um, so we decided we really needed to move into the larger mainstream. And so we started doing studies that took a look at things like sentence construction, uh, teaching transcription skills like spelling and handwriting, um, as well as using a self-regulated strategy development, or SRSD, um, with a broad array of kids. In addition, in about the last 10 years, I've become really interested in evidence-based practices in writing. I think I'm probably working on about my 30th meta-analysis at this point on writing. I'm not sure that there's much left for me to take a look at, uh, but we've gotten a pretty good handle on methods that uh, make a difference in terms of the quality of students' writing and how writing supports learning and reading as well. So, you know, in a nutshell, that's kind of what I've done in the last 30, 35 years.